Well, hello guys, it's Travels with Dottie and it's 4.41 p.m. on Tuesday, the 16th of January. And I'm dining here at Tyson Wells. I just made a little purchase at k and B. I I just got back from um, helping Deborah Dickinson in her little slot there for the Cellarama, where she's gonna be selling her, her books. And um, Joan next to her selling her painted rocks and various artistic painted objects. And they're in row J in spot 22. So when that opens this week, um, you can go down there and enjoy that. I was just helping them set up their Starlink. They need internet connections for the credit card processing and such. And um, it's been quite a day today. Um, I started off and I, I'm on a panel tomorrow at the Rubber, Tr Rubber Tramp Rendezvous on mental health and I've got two partners. There's three of us on a panel, so we met this morning and um, I got to spend some time with a good friend of mine a little bit later. And then I went back to camp and um, was delighted that um, Bob and Pearl from YouTube channel Next Exit arrived in camp. And they're the whole reason I'm where I am. And um, the first thing I did when I retired two years ago is I attended their rally, which was here in La Posa South, actually in the place where my, my and Tim's camp is right now that we call Last Exit Camp. Because prior to that, that's where Tim and I met at Next Exit. Um, so it's at the same spot. They're, they're not having their rallies anymore, but we kept, we loved it so much, we kept coming back to the same spot. And our little camp has grown into a big camp. And then we found out the, um, um, the organization, RV organization, the Rainbow Group, who is in, they have um, a rally every year in La Posa South. They are um, in the same little area with us, right behind us, so that's exciting. So our whole little area went from just a couple, just me and Tim, <laughs> to a sea of people and rigs. It's very exciting and I'm very happy about it. Things are gonna be maybe a little noisy because there are a lot of people for the next week or so, but this is the Big Tent Week. Who's gonna sleep on Big Tent Week anyway? Um, it's the most exciting two weeks in Quartzsite. That is now through the end of January, the last two weeks of January. This is it. We have the RTR. We have the Big Tent Show. We have the um, Rock and Gem Show in Cellarama. It's just event after event, and um, I'm really excited about it. You're going to see a lot of footage of the various things. Um, and here's a really thing that I'm fascinated by. So my last video, um, I tr was driving into town to take a walk with Dottie through Tyson Wells, and that was going to be the video to show everybody who, who the no ven new vendors are and how it's shaping up and what things look like. And I drove into town and did the walk, recorded it. It turns out I made a mistake on my GoPro settings and the footage was unus unusable. I said, well, I'm going to get back in the car, drive around a little bit, and I'm just going to talk about whatever comes to my mind. And, you know, the topics range from quartzite stuff to, you know, experiences I had 30, almost 40 years ago um, in, you know, various professions I was involved in and just random stuff. And when I, you know, pulled the thing together and did some editing, it was 45 minutes. And one of the first things they tell you in, in uh, YouTube land and be, having an accessible YouTube channel is do not make long videos. People won't watch them. You'll chase people away. It's bad, 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 bad. But I'm willing to try anything to see, you know, what might happen. So here's what I expected. I expected because I've got some loyal following, maybe a couple of hundred views. And I expected watch time to be, you know, two or three minutes at the most, maybe 10% of it. The average watch time might be four minutes. Um, that's not what happened. What 
is going on here? There is someone camped here with a ton of flags, all kinds of flags and stuff. I don't know whether, I doubt they're selling them because you're not supposed to do that, but there's just a ton of flags here. Anyway, um, where was I? That's not what happened. It ended up being my number one viewed video um, in the past 10 days. And last time I looked, it was 2,700 views. And the average watch time was double what I thought it would be. It was almost eight minutes out of the 45. You know, that includes people that, you know, don't know what it is. They click on it and go, oh, I don't want to watch this. And they click off right away, combined with people that watch the whole thing through. So, I'm a little stunned. Um, so, that's why I'm kind of doing this one. I'm driving back and I'm talking and about whatever comes to mind. Uh, and, you know, what's coming to mind is now is look at all these rigs out here the week before the Big Ten. And it's just going to get more and more crowded. Now, the consensus is when I ask people that... Um, work in the service industry here they're saying it's it feels lighter than last year and i would have said the opposite in um, november and most of december I was like, boy it looks a lot busier um, now than it did um, a year ago so i thought it was going to be a record-breaking season and then things took a turn um, towards the beginning of january where that momentum of people coming in, it just didn't really continue. And it, there wasn't a noticeable difference until this the past few days, really. Um, so I don't know right now. It's um, Is it the same as last year, busier, not as busy? I just don't know. It's really, really hard to tell. Um, well, a good example here is we're going by the dump station. There's one person in line. And, I, you know, I remember for years past this week, there were constantly long lines at the dump station. So, for whatever that's worth. Now, Tim is doing his, um, Tim Az is his, web, his YouTube channel, T-A-I-M-A-Z. I'm, I'm going to put a link to it in the, this because he does really good drone footage of um, the LTVA areas around here. And... Um, is he built it, especially next year, where he'll, he'll have um, comparisons to make the same date this year and last year, he'll really be able to to nail, um, is it busier, the same, or less busy. Um, and, but right now, it's just, it's pretty interesting um, photography to look at that drone footage, so I urge you to go over there and check that out. His, frankly, his, um, his, are getting more views than mine. His average video is getting more views than mine, and that's how interested people are. Um, so I'm going to make a right here by um, the lit cactus. Somebody repainted those orange rocks. They're really bright now. They weren't as bright before.
definitely camps over here, but I can't tell. I'm gonna have to like go back and look at the Facebook page and look at the coordinates because um, this isn't obvious. So we'll go back to camp and we'll try to figure this out later. So, um, 
first day of the big tent show. So I assume everybody will run in, take their first run through the big tent, we'll come back and have the giant pot. Everybody was sitting outside my rig and they all seemed to be gone. They must have put Dottie back in the trailer. Well, guys, um, another experiment to see if you like this one. I'll talk to you soon. Next video, I'll be there.